because we think we know a lot now I know a lot but the love through love we edify hi there welcome to the first of a series of videos where God has put on our hearts so that we can share to people that we meet and for those who are listening and help so that we can all grow as Paul writes so that we can go grow into the fullness of Christ so that we can be complete in him and this first video will explain a lot about the foundation and how important it is to have a proper foundation and by the end you will know and I want to start by reading a piece in Hebrews but first to tell you a story now imagine you are driving on the highway and far in the distance you see a, mount a mountain a big wonderful mountain so as you get closer to this mountain it starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger till you at the point where you're standing next to this big mountain this wonderful amazing great mountain now did the mountain grow as the, the closer you got to it no it's not the mountain it's you getting closer and it's becoming bigger in your life and that's the same with God that for some people God is amazing he's wonderful he's there they are full of his joy and his love and peace and everything and he's so big in their lives and they share him in every part of their lives but to others God is there in the distance he's there they know about him they know him um, on certain levels but he's not so big in their lives and it is for us to grow closer to him to mature more and I want to read in Hebrews 5 starting from verse 12 for though by this time you ought to be teachers you actually need someone to teach you again the elementary principles of God's word from the beginning and you have come to be continually continually in need of milk and not solid food so who drinks milk he's mentioning about a growing process that happens because babies drink milk and he says for everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness since he is a spiritual infant so he's a baby but solid food is for the spiritually mature whose senses are trained by practice to distinguish between what is morally good and what is evil so he's mentioning about a spiritual growth but he's referring to the natural and we can just see how it all works out a baby drinks milk a infant drinks milk if an infant eats solid food too soon the infant will choke because it has not grown to that point yet and a person no one can grow spiritually naturally drinking only milk is whole life there comes a point where he needs to start to move to eat solid food um, to get more nutrients and he's mentioning that you ought to be teachers now but now again you are like babies um, but the solid food is for the spiritually mature whose senses are trained by practice to distinguish between what is morally good and what is evil it's by practice by experience by by using this um, this that they have gained the knowledge that they have gained now in hebrews 6 he says therefore let us get past the elementary stage in the teachings about the christ advancing on to maturity and perfection and spiritual completeness doing this without laying again a, fo a foundation so he's speaking about the foundation that needs to be laid and jesus also spoke about this in matthew 7 matthew 7 verse 24 so everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock 
and the rain fell and the floods and torrents came, and the winds blew and slammed against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them, will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods and torrents came, and the winds blew and slammed against that house, and it fell, and great and complete was its fall. So you can see even Jesus was speaking about how important a foundation is. How important it is. And he mentioned about hearing his words and acting on them, practicing them, uh, applying it to your life, so that the foundation will be strong. And when there's storms coming, when the wind and the torrents and the rain and everything fell and came, the house stood strong because the foundation was right. And you can just practically think about this. If someone starts to set out and build a house, and they grow and they start to dig for the foundation, to pour the concrete where they're going to start to build the house. So if they forget to put the reinforced steel in, if they don't put that in, and they just pour the concrete, they can build the, start to brick the, build the bricks on there and start to build the first slab. And, uh, and they can build to the next level and build a proper, unique, beautiful three-story house, modern and fancy. But remember, they did not put the reinforced steel into the foundation. So what happened next? There was an earthquake, rain fell, torrents came, the winds came, the storms of life came. And there was earthquakes and all these things. And the house shook. And because the foundation was not properly laid, the walls started to crack. Everything started to break. And the house fell and great was its fall. Just as Jesus said, because he heard the words that Jesus says, but he did not act on it. He did not obey everything. And the proper foundation is so important. He says, without again laying a foundation that has already been laid, but laying a found, again a foundation of, now he names about this important foundation. It's about repentance from dead works and of faith towards God, of the teachings about washings, the King James says of the doctrine of baptisms and the laying on of hands and the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. And verse 3 explains it so beautifully that and God has opened this up so amazingly that we want to grow and he says that and we will do this let's proceed to maturity grow and become more mature and move on from the basic foundations um, about the Christ um, about all these things that he mentioned and there says three, three words if God permits and then I started to see that God permits the maturity. God permits the growth. God loves us. He loves us. And He wants us to do wonderful things for Him. But if there is not a proper foundation that has been laid, He will. God is the one who chooses for us to grow to maturity. And that's why for some people, God is this amazing big mountain. They are close. He's part of everything in their lives. And to the other people who see Him in a distance, where the foundation is not properly laid, they see that, yeah, maybe it's just not for everyone. But the thing is that the other ones got closer to Him. Proverbs 4 verse 7 says, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom, <laughs> basic. And then he says, and with all your acquiring, with all your getting, get understanding. Get understanding. And that is so amazing to get the understanding of what you read. So what do we do? 
okay we're not growing fast enough so now okay i need to go and study i need to just study and study and study so now we study this the word of god which is good but we start to get a lot of knowledge and gain a lot of knowledge and it's all just knowledge without the applying of it it's hearing the um, the teachings about christ but not acting on it because it's just hearing and hearing and hearing but as paul writes eager to learn and learn but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth never able to practice it because it's all about just hearing and indulging in knowledge but not applying the knowledge not to applying the understanding and getting and seeking the understanding because in all your getting get understanding and i want to explain it in a certain way that let's say someone wants to become an electrician so he goes and he studies and he studies and he studies to become an electrician he studies um, all the books and the uh, the theories and everything about to become an electrician but he never learns the practical side of it because he's just getting and gaining a lot of knowledge but now a problem comes and now it's going to be tested with what he knows but he's never learned how to hold a screwdriver or a, a plier or how to switch on a circuit breaker or how to use the tester because it was all just knowledge but not understanding how it works not understanding how to hold a screwdriver how to switch on a breaker how to switch on your tester how to uh, install a plug and a light and how a drill works and the grinder works and the hammer and chisel works it was all pure knowledge without the application of it and that is where he writes in hebrews 5 verse 14 but solid food is for the spiritually mature whose senses are trained by practice to distinguish between what is morally good and what is evil by practice by experience by using and applying this knowledge that was gained 1 corinthians 8 verse 1 says that knowledge puffs up but love edifies so basically if we gain a lot of knowledge and it's only based on knowledge and knowledge and knowledge it puffs you up because we think we know a lot now i know a lot but the love through love we edify through love we encourage through love we we exercise this knowledge if we have gained that understanding we know how to work with it how to use the knowledge and god wants us to grow he wants us to become more mature but he chooses that he permits the growth and we need to seek him the understanding of it and it all comes down to if there was a proper foundation laid in hebrews 6 he says he mentions there that advancing on to maturity and perfection god wants us to strive for and advance and seek perfection so that we can be perfect like he is like jesus is because jesus paid a big price for us mark 4 verse 25 says for whoever has a teachable heart to him more understanding will be given not knowledge he's speaking about understanding because you can know about something as i explained but not understand how to use it and that will determine a lot for you he says to him more understanding will be given and whoever does not have a yearning for truth even what he has will be taken away from him so if you have a teachable heart a seeking and a longing and a yearning for the truth god will give you the understanding you will know how to use it you will know how to apply it in your life and you will be able to do that but if you do not have a yearning for truth even what you have that little understanding the truth will be taken away from you we have to we have to have a longing and a seeking for truth we have to have a teachable heart for god to teach us not that we know a lot because we have read the bible a lot and gained a lot of knowledge but we need to have the understanding of that knowledge to apply it in our lives 
and I hope these videos will encourage you to grow and, and really have a yearning and a longing for more of Him. Because God can be this amazing, enormous, wonderful, beautiful mountain that's so big in your life. Or He can be that small mountain in the distance and you do not want to go closer to this mountain. And for those who have watched this video, thank you very much. The next one will be coming out shortly.